วัสดีค่ะ On this video, we gonna learn Chapter 5 on Chemical Thermodynamics. This chapter is separated into two parts. Part one is gonna be about thermochemistry, and part two is gonna be about spontaneity of chemical reaction. In part one, we gonna study a branch of chemistry that describes the energy changes that occur during chemical reactions. We will focus on the heat energy, hence the name thermochemistry. The heat involved in a chemical reactions, and on the second part about spontaneity of chemical reaction, we gonna try to answer the question: Is a particular reaction energetically possible in the direction in which it is written? Uh, you gonna learn about the term spontaneous or non-spontaneous. Is a particular reaction spontaneous? In the written direction. Let's start on the first part, thermochemistry. The objectives on this first uh, video. You gonna need to understand the concept of energy and its various form. On this topic, you gonna have to uh, read it yourself from the given document. And then we are gonna learn about the relationship between energy, work, and heat. And the very important thing on the first set of this video is for you to be able to identify the sign of energy from the system perspective. Sign of energy in this chapter is very important. You have to give the correct sign. That indicate the direction of change correctly. Okay, let's start with the thermodynamics term. If we want to study energy change, we have to specify what we are interested, in, and that is called a system. A system. A system is defined as a part of the universe which a change occurs. It is a part that we are interested in measuring the energy changes. Everything else in vicinity of the system is called surroundings. Hence, it's defined as everything that is in vicinity of the thermodynamic system. And system plus surrounding make universe. Which is the uh, thermodynamic terms. What we are very interested in is the system, and uh, that make the law of conservation of energy. It said that the total energy of the universe is constant. The total energy of the universe is constant. We can make it into a mathematics equation that said delta E subscript universe, which means the energy change of the universe is zero. The energy is constant. It means the change of energy is zero, since universe consists of system and surrounding. So we can. Change the mathematics equation before to be change of energy of system is equal to the opposite change of energy in surrounding. Remember what I said earlier: the sign of energy in this chapter is very important. We give a direction of change. Uh, we have to define is energy in or energy out. If energy in, what is the sign? If energy is out, what is the sign? The law of conservation of energy is also referred to as the first law of thermodynamics. Again, it said the total energy of the universe is constant. From this uh, sentence, 
we can also explain it in the terms of energy change of system and surrounding as an energy change of the system must be accompanied by an opposite energy change of the surroundings and you see this mathematics equation already change of energy of the system equal to the change of energy of surrounding but in the opposite direction in other words you can say that if system has the energy increase surrounding must have the energy decrease so the opposite direction one increase one decrease so if this increase this would be decrease same amount of energy opposite direction so the sign of change side of change is important in this chapter we look at system perspective if energy if energy comes into the system we give it a positive sign so obviously if energy is out of the system we give it a negative sign from system perspective energy comes in positive energy goes out negative if we change our system into what we are interested in chemistry if we look at the system as chemical reaction if our system is chemical reaction we are going to focus on the change of what is called internal energy and we use the letter capital letter u to represent the internal energy our chemical reaction is the change of reactants to products this is our system so the change of internal energy of the system we look at the final state minus initial state the final state is the products the initial state is the reactants so change of internal energy of the system equal to energy of products minus energy of reactants and this different would be given the sign the same thing as before if the delta u of system increase it means that energy comes into the system it's going to be positive if delta u is decrease the energy is out of the system and it will be negative in chemical reaction the internal energy changes in the form of heat and work heat we use the small letter q and work we use the small letter w so we can make this mathematic equation again delta u of system equal to q plus w q is heat w is work the summation of these two make energy change of system delta u of system has a positive or negative sign same thing for q and w we are going to need to give the sign as the direction of change as well look at the q or heat first same thing นะคะ heat into the system is positive heat out of the system is negative when we look at heat we can calculate it from measuring the temperature change so you can look at it very uh, simple like this if your system if your system is heated if your system is heated the temperature of the system is increase 
temperature of system is increased, so Q is positive. If the system is cooled down, the temperature of the system is decreased, which means Q is negative. Q is positive, heat comes into the system. Q is negative, heat is out from the system. When we look at work, work can be in many forms. However, we're going to focus on just this pressure volume work. In chemistry, we are going to focus on the pressure volume work. This is uh, related to a chemical reaction that involves gases. What I give you an as example here is the pressure volume work done by an expanding gas. In this picture, this is the uh, initial state. This reaction will produce gas and the gas that is produced move this stopper up against external pressure P. This gas move the stopper up against external pressure P and the work is calculated from the force time distance and of course force is the same force from the uh, external pressure but in the opposite direction so you have to put a negative sign here so we get this uh, as the value of work work is equal to negative pressure times delta V or volume change so the expanding gas increase the volume the system does work or work is done by a system it has a negative sign now that we learn about the sign of energy another important concept in thermodynamics is the concept of state function state function are the properties that determined by the state of system regardless of how that condition was achieved in other words we look at the initial state and compare it with the final state we don't care about how the change occur as long as we look at the same initial state and the same final state the energy change between these two states are the same as I show you in this diagram change from initial state to final state in this picture occur in two parts this first part it's occur in the single step the energy chain is uh, identified as letter C the second part uh, the change occur in two step A first and then continue with B we look at the same initial and final states so the total energy A plus B must equal to the energy C we can change this diagram into something that uh, occur in the reaction of octane react to oxygen when octane react to oxygen it produces carbon dioxide and water similar to the previous diagram if we just burn it if we just burn it all the change of energy occur by heat energy loss as heat only if we put the octane into the, some kind of uh, petrol and use it in the car the energy loss from here to here can occur as heat plus work the work occur when the car is moving okay anyway this delta u 
here and here are the same. The first one is just equal to heat. The second one is equal to heat plus work. So you can see that delta U is constant between these two states. So U or internal energy is a state function. It does not depend on how the change occurs. Where Q and W, Q and W are not state functions. They depend on how the change occurs. Q on this side must be higher than Q on this side because part of it uh, change into work. Okay? So state function is very important in thermodynamics. We will look at the two states only, initial state and final state. If we look at the same uh, change, the internal energy chain must be the same. But heat and work can be different. So this is it for the first video. In summary, what did we learn? We learn about the first law of thermodynamics and that said the total energy of the universe is constant. The universe consists of system and surrounding. So energy changes of the system is the same as the surrounding but in opposite direction. The direction of change is very important so we indicate the sign of change as positive and negative sign. Look at the change of energy from system perspective. If energy comes into the system, we give it a positive sign. If energy is out of the system, we give it a negative sign. Energy changes of the system or chemical reaction can be in the form of heat and work. When we look at the state function, we found that the internal energy or U is a state function does not depend on how the change occurs where heat and work are not state function. We have to look at how it occur. And that's it for this video. I see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ